What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. If you watch this channel, you know that we create a variety of tutorials for both 2D and 3D live action visual effects. These techniques can be valuable for both filmmakers and visual effects artists as they can demonstrate how you can enhance and often completely recreate your shot in the post-production process. That said, one of the trickiest aspects of learning visual effects is trying to figure out what techniques to learn first in order to get started. There are countless tutorials out there and sometimes it's nice to have a little clarity on where to start. In this video, I'm going to go through the top five visual effects techniques that I recommend learning as a filmmaker to increase both the production value of your projects as well as give you more freedom in your story on a budget. These techniques are not as advanced as some I've discussed in the past but are generally easier to learn and can add an extra touch to your film visually depending on the scenes you are trying to create. Now granted a lot of time the most important aspect of a project is the story itself but whether you are making a dramatic film or one with heavy action scenes these tips should give you some ideas of what you can learn fairly quickly to enhance your projects on a budget. This video is brought to you by City Builder 3D, the ultimate city building asset add-on for Blender, available on BlenderMarket.com this month for 25% off using the discount code NOVEMBER25. Anyways guys, let's get started. The first visual effect on this list is color correction. Now color correction is often overlooked as a visual effect because a lot of us find it easy enough to just throw a basic LUT on our footage and call it a day. However, more advanced color correction has the possibility to drastically change the look and feel of your shot. In addition to adding a basic LUT or simply using the color wheels and curves to increase contrast and create color separation, you can also create masks and power windows to create layers of light and dark in your shot. In fact, if your shot is moving, you can even 3D track your footage and track on your masks effectively as well. In cinematography, a lot of the time we use hard powerful lights to create wall treatment in the background to create separation. Sometimes on a budget, however, this isn't possible due to time or money constraints. In post-production, simple masks can be used to create both hard hits of light on different parts of your footage as well as create more contrast through simple power windows of certain areas. This can create a much better result or mood for your shot depending on the look you are going for and hence increase your production value. Most of the time, professional colorists will use the industry standard software DaVinci resolve for this process. However, you can use a variety of editing and visual effects software such as Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, Blender, Nuke, After Effects, and more. Now in filmmaking, what's often as important as what's in your shot is what's not in your shot. For that reason, the second visual effect on this list is tracking and removal. This technique is valuable because oftentimes the locations where you are shooting don't look as you have planned. Perhaps a moving truck parked in the background doesn't fit your story, or some unruly cows in the background of your shot are distracting. By learning how to remove these background objects and using a simple clean plate, you don't have to worry about them nearly as much. The simplest form of this technique is just like using the clone stamp tool in Photoshop, but using tracking data so that as your camera pans around, the object you are trying to remove stays hidden. You can do this effect in DaVinci, Blender, Nuke, After Effects, and pretty much any other visual effects compositing software. The third visual effects technique on this list is stock footage compositing. Compositing stock footage is one of the first visual effects techniques I learned personally as a filmmaker, and it took my visual effects to a new level just by learning how to overlay various elements. With stock footage compositing, you can add muzzle flashes to firefights, overlay dust and blood hits, add fire, atmospheres, and even composite explosions when using a variety of elements overlaid and composited with each other. The true limitations of compositing stock footage lie within your ability to blend the stock elements that you have together through color correction and matching the general perspective of the elements. Now stock footage compositing applies a lot to action scenes, but with various elements you can enhance the drama in other genres as well. For example, if you need a certain scene to feel colder, you could perhaps overlay some simple atmospheric elements and bring in a colder color temperature through color correction and you're already creating a more immersive environment for the viewer. Stock footage compositing covers a large variety of individual effects, but the simplest form of this can be applied in all visual effects and most editing software when using the elements in subtle ways. The fourth visual effect technique on this list is the utilization of simple particle systems. Particle systems can be used to create environment enhancing effects such as rain, snow, hail, sparks, dust particles, and more. Unlike two-dimensional stock elements of rain and snow, particle effects in 3D have that parallax that can more realistically interact with your live action shot when tracked incorrectly. While using particle systems is generally more advanced for beginner artists just starting out, luckily there are a variety of presets and plugins for both After Effects and Blender for streamlining setups such as After Effects CC Snow, CC Rain, and our very own Weather Effects add-on for Blender. 
The number one visual effects technique I recommend learning as a filmmaker is the utilization of basic set extensions or matte paintings. One of the most expensive aspects of filmmaking is finding the right location for your story. Through both two-dimensional and 3D set extensions, you can drastically increase the production value of your environment by changing the world your characters are living within to something different. When implemented correctly, this allows you to reach past the limitations of your current environment into something entirely new. Now, depending on the specifics of your shot, you can utilize a variety of 2D or 3D set extensions. One thing I recommend, whether your set extension is off in the distance or up close as a 3D element, is matching the 3D lighting to your live action shot. Keep in mind how the rest of your shot is being lit, try to match that in whatever 3D element you are adding, and your final composites will look considerably better. This is why I often recommend creating 2D renders from 3D elements, even if your set extension is off in the distance, where a 3D parallax won't be seen, as you can match the overlaid elements with a lot more control. Anyways guys, those are my top 5 visual effects I recommend learning as a filmmaker. I hope this video was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. If you're interested in more visual effects and filmmaking content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button as it really helps us grow the channel. I'll see you next time.